On the evening of August 9, BYD held the ceremony for the production of its 5 millionth new energy vehicle, making it the world's first automotive brand to achieve this milestone. The event was attended by a full house of 800 people, and emotions ran high during the ceremony. The founder of BYD became visibly emotional during his speech, mentioning Chinese brands far more frequently than BYD. Towards the end of his speech, the large screen displayed the words, together, we are Chinese cars, elevating the atmosphere to a climax. This reminiscent moment takes us back to the China Entrepreneur Forum held in the summer of 2021. A middle-aged man of average height, wearing glasses and with a square face, stepped onto the stage. The entire audience erupted in thunderous applause. He went on to talk about the hardships he faced on his entrepreneurial journey, and as he spoke passionately, tears welled up in his eyes. If you thought this was just a case of an entrepreneur seeking sympathy from the audience, you couldn't be more wrong. For him, these were all genuine and painful chapters of his life story. This individual is Wang Chuanfu, the founder of BYD. As we all know, BYD is now one of China's and even the world's leading new energy vehicle companies. Wang Chuanfu, having topped both the Forbes and Huruan rich lists, boasts a fortune exceeding tens of billions. However, reflecting on his life's journey, it's a motivational story of rising from rags to riches, from a penniless farmer to a billionaire. During the toughest times, it was the support from his brother and sister-in-law that helped him get through. Before the boom of new energy vehicles, BYD was not considered a hot cake in the market. Over the past 20 years, Wang Chuanfu's image in the public eye has undergone continuous transformation. In 2003, some said Wang Chuanfu was crazy when BYD, originally a battery manufacturer, transformed into a car manufacturer. 20 years later, when BYD celebrated the production of its 5 millionth vehicle, many exclaimed that Wang Chuanfu was a genius. Today, I'd like to share with you the original speech by Mr. Wang from August. Due to time constraints, here are some selected excerpts. Let's get start. This year marks BYD's 20th year in automobile manufacturing, particularly in the realm of new energy vehicles. In 2003, we ventured into the automotive industry with the dream of new energy. There's someone in batteries daring to make cars? Various doubts and ridicule came our way. On our first day in the automotive industry, BYD's stock price plummeted by 20%, a stark cold shower from the capital market. In the 2004 Beijing International Auto Show, we showcased three concept new energy vehicles while other booths were dominated by conventional fuel vehicles. Back then, no one believed in the future of new energy vehicles. The term new energy vehicles hadn't even emerged. People couldn't comprehend, were uninterested, and looked down upon it. Everyone questioned if BYD, known for batteries, could really venture into electric cars. Despite these doubts and jeers, we didn't give up. We firmly trod this less-traveled path. The Chinese have astonished the world in many industries. Why not in the automotive sector? BYD aimed to be a proof point, to demonstrate what? To demonstrate that BYD can. New energy can. Chinese automobiles can. So, how were we going to prove this? I believe the core lies in research and development, in technology. In terms of technical research and development, we've invested billions. Over the past 12 years, for 11 years, BYD's R&D investment surpassed that year's net profit, often being three to four times the net profit. I distinctly remember in 2017 to 2019, BYD's profits plummeted for three consecutive years. Especially in 2019, the net profit was only 1.6 billion. However, in R&D, we still persevered, investing a whopping 8.4 billion. As early as 2002, we had already chosen the lithium iron phosphate technology route and started the research and application of iron batteries. Over the past 18 years, we never abandoned this technology route, always seeking new breakthroughs. 
It's our persistence in research and development that led to the launch of Blade batteries in 2020. Blade batteries not only broke the range barrier but also addressed the safety concerns plaguing the development of new energy. It's precisely because of Blade batteries that lithium-iron phosphate regained its position as the market's mainstream choice. As of the end of 2019, BYD had introduced a total of 20 vehicle series and 176 different new energy vehicle models. Unfortunately, from 2010 to 2019, over this decade, we were stagnant, making no progress. 2019 was the most difficult year for BYD. At that time, our sole goal was to survive. The bitterness and challenges behind this, only we understand. Though this path was difficult, we persisted for 20 years. This is not just the story of BYD's automobile manufacturing, it mirrors the journey of Chinese brands in the automobile industry. Many Chinese brands, like BYD, have faced phases of being unrecognized and underestimated. I remember vividly, in 2014, when the market share of Chinese brands faced a severe and continuous decline, experiencing the worst, 12 consecutive falls, in history. Our products, technology, and services were not acknowledged, putting many Chinese brands on the brink of collapse. We all went through these darkest times of being unrecognized. New energy has provided a fresh acceleration for China's automobile industry. It took us 14 years from the first new energy vehicle to the 10 millionth. From the 10 millionth to the 20 millionth, it took less than a year and a half. As one of the earliest participants in the new energy vehicle industry, we have had the fortune to witness a period of rapid growth in recent years within this wave of the era. For these past years, BYD has been preparing for 20 years. Our research and development team, which started with only tens of people at its inception, has grown more than 2,000 times. This year, over 30,000 recent college graduates have joined BYD, with 81% of them engaging in R&D work. Our technical R&D team now comprises over 90,000 people and operates in 11 major research institutes. Presently, BYD submits an average of 19 patent applications per working day and receives 15 patent authorizations. China is undeniably a powerhouse in the automotive industry. However, in traditional fuel vehicle technology, we have been trailing and catching up. Chinese brands have not led in technology nor become market dominators, failing to establish themselves as automotive powerhouses. Now, with the rapid transformation of new energy, China's automotive industry is moving from catching up to surpassing, rewriting the history of being big but not strong. Today, China stands as the undisputed powerhouse in new energy vehicles, boasting the world's largest market for new energy. In terms of industrial scale, China leads in the export of new energy vehicles globally, accounting for over 60% of global production and sales. On the fronts of core technology and the industry chain, China contributes 70% of the world's publicized patents related to new energy vehicles and supplies over 63% of global power batteries. With these achievements, we can proudly declare that China is rightfully the new energy vehicle giant. Last year, China's automobile exports surpassed Germany for the first time, reaching 3.4 million vehicles, making China the world's second-largest automobile exporter. In the first half of this year, China exported 2.14 million vehicles, surpassing Japan for the first time, making it the world's largest automobile exporter. Meanwhile, Chinese brands like SAIC, Cherry, Chang'an, Great Wall, Geely, BYD, and others have achieved remarkable success in their international ventures, showcasing the brilliant business card of Made in China to the world. Here, I invite you all to give the warmest applause to all Chinese brands. I believe the era of Chinese automobiles has arrived. Looking at the history of global automotive industry development, we find that every automotive powerhouse has its own world-class brands. The United States has General Motors, Ford, and Tesla, Germany has Volkswagen, Mercedes-Benz, and BMW. Our neighboring countries, Japan and South Korea, also have their world-class brands. China's automotive industry will undoubtedly give birth to a group of world-class brands, 
and we all have the opportunity to become respected global brands. The automotive industry is experiencing an unprecedented transformation, and China's automotive history is being written by us. Let us unite and, under the name of Chinese automobiles, break free from old paradigms, venture into broader horizons, and create world-class brands. Inject new vigor from Chinese automobiles into the global automotive industry revolution. Together, we are Chinese automobiles. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas with other people. Please keep following our channel and like our videos. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.